So at this time, if everyone please stand with me and I will lead us in our pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's our rotary prayer. We ask that you guide and direct our club, its leaders, and our actions. Grant that each of us may feel our responsibility to Rotary, to our community, and to our country indeed. To all countries and peoples. Bless our fellowship and bless this food to the nourishments of our bodies in your service. Amen. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed the meal and the music so far. I would like to give, uh, everyone give a big hand to Josh and his staff at Big Ace Barbecue for food. And also, Dwayne Morris and Goo Burns. Y'all haven't heard a play just yet, but you're about to. All right, at this time, we need to conduct some business for installing our 2024-2025 club officers. It is my honor to introduce someone very special to you tonight. That someone resurrected the Rotary Club of Rogers Field. Just over a year ago, this someone accepted the task of being president of the Rotary Club of Rogersville of only five members. Today, tonight, you all hear as our witness. You see that our club has grown, is growing, and thriving. Thanks to her and each of our club members, like-minded, hard work. Rotary is a lot of hard work. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of dedication. And I want to be the first to tell you that our current president and our immediate past president has really worked hard for this club. Not only this club, but she's worked hard for our community. She's worked hard for Rotary International. She is the very reason that we are Knocking on 20 members strong, 16, we were up to 20, some have business obligations. So, without any further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome our immediate past president and our current president, Misty Race. Better every day 
And when I think that I can't do something, he tells me to stop underestimating me. I can do it. I can push forward. So I really appreciate that. This last year of being the president of the Rotary Club of Rogersville has challenged me to grow. I've also had to learn to be a leader of leaders. When there's a whole group of leaders, sometimes it's hard to get everyone to go in the same direction. You all know that, right? <laughs> Especially when I got Chuck. Chuck wants to do his own thing sometimes. <laughs> 2023 to 2024, we used to resurrect our club. When I came in, we hung out at Hale Springs and we had lunch and there wasn't a whole lot going on. I decided to take over the presidency and make our club thrive. We've done We've made my goal of gaining 15 members during that time. Unfortunately, some have had to quit because of jobs and family and other things like that. We did achieve an awesome award at our district Rotary. We got the Explosion Award. That was awesome. So we did get an award for growing as fast as we did. So that was awesome. A few examples of our contributions to our community this last year is we helped the Cub Scout Pack 100 get uniforms. Not only did we help them get, uniform, get uniforms, we raised awareness in the community that they needed some help. We also gave three scholarships this last year. We gave $750 scholarships to three different seniors. We did one for Cherokee, one for volunteer, and one for Clinch High School. Those are just some of the accomplishments that we've done this last year. And it, so far, this has made us very proud. I hope to do a lot more going forward. So I appreciate what everyone has done so far this year. Before I hand it over, I would like to call attention to one Rotary person in particular. I would like to name a Rotarian of the Year for our club. In recognition of a club member who exhibits and exemplifies service above self in their daily activities, who promotes Rotary through their actions and involvement, and demonstrates a principal commitment to the four-way test, I name Chuck Smith as my Rotarian of the Year. So uh, that's where I'd like to introduce Mr. Rob Danzaro. He's our newly elected district governor, resides in Knoxville. He's a Tennessee grad and a seasoned realtor with a passion for East Tennessee community development. From high school tennis to recreational pick pickleball, Rob just loves sports. So he's uh, an amateur chef, art enthusiast, avid traveler, and with a 20, is it 24 or 28 year marriage? to Krista, and then three lovely girls who are incredibly talented and gifted. Um, Rob has given a commitment to East Tennessee. He's been a Rotary for years and years. 
he's the one that actually picks up the phone, takes a text, calls you immediately back. So I can always count on him, and I know Misty and Chuck can as well. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Mr. Roth. So I get to oh, wait just a second. So I get to give a few remarks, it says here. So I'm just so excited to be at the Rotary Club of Rogersville. For those of you in the audience, are you aware that this club will be 100 years old next year? I'm sorry. I'm going to take your thunder. And the reason why is in this situation that I'm the 111th governor of this district, but this club is 100 years old next year, and it's special. And the club was really falling down. And it had always been a club, and the community had been so supportive and tried and tried and tried. And the club was not getting there anymore. And Misty came along. And she brought in a group of people who were committed to this community and making a difference. And she really is service oriented. I remember that Misty missed a, wow, that's interesting phrase. Misty missed a meeting of ours at the time and zoomed in from her vacation on the beach. That's her level of commitment to what she's doing. And I guess your husband was not offended by the fact you were doing that, which I, whoo, I did that when I don't know what would happen to me. Um, <laughs> but my point is that this club has a lot of energy. This is a fabulous community. And I'm looking forward to coming back for my official district governor visit and getting a tour of Rogersville again so I can really understand the community a little bit better. I have, so I'm the district governor of Rotary District 6780. And our district goes from Rogersville to Chattanooga, and then around to Manchester, Winchester, up through Mount Juliet, and all the way up to the Kentucky border. And so you are our, one of our furthest clubs to the north before we get into our district that is in part of Virginia. And so what I want to say to you is that we have 60 clubs in our district. So think about it like we have 60 locations. And this is one of the ones that's the most special it's one of the ones that's the oldest and persevered through so many different things. Think about the fact that Misty is about to take the role as president again. Now she was number 99, but she's also gonna be number 100 in terms of president. So that means that 98 other leaders in your community came before Misty. And so I think that's really important. And Chuck is gonna be number 101 in this club. So that's a lot of history. And I think you should appreciate where you come from as a community, as a club, kind of where we are now, which we're in this mega growth period phase. You got the Explosion Award this year because of the amazing growth. You brought a club back from the brink of falling down. And then where's it gonna go, Misty? I wanna hear from you on that. I know that's in your speech. I'm sure it's in here because that's Misty and I know that's the type of leader she is. But I've talked for too long so I want to bring Misty up and let's induct Misty as the 100th president of the Rotary Club of Rogersville. Give Misty a hand. So Misty, um, <clears throat> let me ask you this question. When you raise your right hand, and I'm going to say this to you, Misty Race, you've been selected and elected by the members of our club to guide and preside over us during the new, this new Rotary year. You have been entrusted with this most important responsibility which, shape, which will shape the club's future during your year. Do you, Misty Grace, solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of President of the Rotary Club of Rogersville and that you will, to the best of your ability, support the club with assistance from our District Governor and Rotary International and that you will uphold the Constitution and bylaws of the club. If you agree with that, would you please say, I will. I will. Will you will fulfill the responsibilities of your office to the best of your ability and in accordance with the Constitution and bylaws of our club? I will. Then, I hereby declare you duly installed. Woo, did I go to the wrong page? Backside. You know this better than me tonight. I've done this so many times. <clears throat> uh -huh. So I declare you, Misty Race, to be the president of the club, Rotary Club of Rogersville in Rotary year 2024 through 2025. Congratulations, Misty.
she gets a new president's pen to add. And I'm going to let you pin yourself. Go okay. right ahead and do that. So, Misty's going to give you her remarks, and then we're going to bring the officers up. Yep. Thank you, Rob. I am humbled to accept the role as president for a second term. Thank you for the continued confidence in my leadership. Now looking forward to 2024 to 2025. 25, like Rob has already said, it, are, it is our 100th year. We're going to make a huge splash with it. It's going to be awesome. It will be a year of growth, giving back, improvement, celebration, creating the change we want to see in our community. This year, one of my goals is to bring back Interact to Hawkins County. President-elect Chuck Smith has already spoken to Principal Kenner, and uh, President nominee Bethany Parsons has already spoken to a teacher who's interested in partnering with us and bringing Interact back to the high school. So the ball is already rolling on that goal, so it's making my job easier. Another goal I have for our club is to inspire others to join Rotary by telling our story better and louder than before, showing everyone the magic of Rotary. I have I have asked so many people to join Rotary, and always the first question I get is, what is Rotary? The second question I get is, why should I join Rotary? Rotary is a global organization that wants to create peace and eradicate polio forever. Rotarians join because they want to be with like-minded people who want a chance to do something good for someone else. They want to achieve that sense of self-fulfillment. I originally joined Rotary for the connections and the fellowship that Rogersville Rotary provided. I have made some true friendships in this club and I forever will be grateful for the experiences that I have that I will have from this club. Thank you again for the opportunity to serve, and I look forward to another successful year with this amazing group of friends and colleagues. So at this time, we're going to call for the officers and directors. Um, if you're in the crowd, you know who you are. And so, if you please, so the officers this year for the Rotary Club of Rogersville are Misty Race, immediate past president slash president, serving a second term. Chuck Smith, president-elect. Becky Smith, club secretary. Robbie Price, club executive secretary, he couldn't be here tonight. Timothy Gibson is the club treasurer. Chuck Smith is also serving in the role of public image, which is what Misty was talking about. We're going to get the word out so we can build capacity. Director, um, <clears throat> Annette Arms, Service Committee Director, Bethany Parsons, President Nominee and Club Membership Director, Sherry Medford, Fundraising Director. Director. Misty is going to pin all of these people as the Board of Directors and Officers for this year as the Rotary Club of Rogers Club. of the Rotary Club of Rogersville. We believe this is an indication of your, of your fellow Rotarians' esteem and confidence in each of you. We believe you will uphold the high traditions of our club, that you will give the best of your executive ability to the furtherance of the interests of our club and the carrying forward of the object of Rotary. And I'm going to ask you a very important question. Will you fulfill the responsibilities of your office to the best of your ability and in accordance with the Constitution and bylaws of our club? I will. Then I hereby declare you duly installed as the officers and directors. Congratulations. Everybody congratulate <laughs> And 
as a symbol of transfer from the current president to the new president, I am going to hand her the gavel. Congratulations, Miss. <laughs> To the outgoing officers and directors, though you're retiring from your duties in the club, your continued active involvement and support in the club is extremely important and highly encouraged. You are still Rotarians. We still will serve together. So thank you for the outgoing directors and the directors. Thank you. Is it fun? Meeting adjourned.